So, uh, that's actually what you're gonna wear to this concert that we're going to now, eh? Um, it's a Beyonce concert, and you bought a damn tiger, so I think you can shut your little mouth about it. Shut my mouth, eh? Well, I guess I'm not gonna buy you a slushy. I don't even like slushies. 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 That does sound a bit ridiculous to me, but I would never tell a woman what to wear, especially at a Beyonce concert. So, thank you so much for talking. I'm so upset. He ruined Beyonce for me. We were standing outside and he was like looking me up and down and was like, is that what you're gonna wear to this concert? And I'm like, uh, okay, this is a Beyonce concert and you look like you just crawled out of a locker room and um, you also have a tiger over there. And then he like said, well, I'm not gonna buy you a slushy. Like I don't have 250 to buy my own slushy and that's like some big threat. He like slushy threaded me. What you baking there, Adam? Oh, you know, I just bake when I'm upset and I just keep replaying the whole thing in my mind over and over. Oh, maybe you should talk to her about it. Maybe you'd feel better. Mm. It might help. Mm. You can just shut your little mouth about it. I don't even like slushy, slushy. Thank you so much for being open to talking in person. Thank you for initiating the conversation. I'm sorry for what I said. I was feeling insecure and resorted to approval-based comments, trying to regain my sense of power. I'm sorry for being so sharp. Growing up in a male approval-based family, I'm really sensitive to that energy. I want you to know I really respect you. I respect you too. Ugh. Sometimes I feel so confused about how to be a supportive white male in a patriarchal society. You'd be surprised how often even women subscribe to patriarchal behaviors. You're right. The fact that you can talk openly and vulnerably about it is something encouraging. I really feel safe. Thank you for being so honest and vulnerable with me. Well, that's the goal, isn't it? We both have a lot of healing to do. I wish you the best on your journey and I hope we meet again.